local celebrity hairstylist is opening up about his life and what it took to heal his childhood trauma. He wrote a new memoir titled When the Smoke Clears. News 4's Jumi Olabanji spoke with author Vernon Martin about finding hope after hardship in today's For Your Reading. It entails a story of a young man who was a very happy little boy starting off um, and goes into some serious um, issues with uh, molestation and bullying and all types of um, very deep hardships that took me into a place of uh, depression and um, anxiety. I came home and I was just thinking one day and one of my friends said, you should start recording because I couldn't sleep. He said, you should start recording in your phone. Before I knew it, I had over 18 recordings an hour long. So when I would listen to it, I was like, I did not realize how badly my past had affected me. And so I um, was like, I should do a book. So that's how that happened. But I had to do the book because I kind of got tired of people assuming that they knew me and that they understood me and they didn't. How proud are you uh, of yourself for, for um, you know, what you've been able to, to achieve and how you've, um, you know, been able to grow in your life, even though you've been through some traumatic things? I remember many years ago, Aretha Franklin said to me, you know, it's something about you. And I said, what is it? She said, you have it. And I said, well, what is it? She said, you have something you cannot buy. Coming from her, that was just amazing. And then Cicely Tyson had given, given me the same compliment. And so I was just like, these people are in hierarchy, you know, the top of their game, and they trust me. This little boy from Washington, D.C. has really done a lot. So I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to, to share my life with everyone. And to hopefully help someone, help somebody. When the smoke clears, is available now on Amazon.